Hello, everyone. This is Psycho Blue, conductor of the High Train, Mr. Hype Gems, hashtag cross wires, hashtag G Fire Cross Tech, and we're going to jump right into it. It's going to be RC on the left and Special Evolved, aka Storm and Fighter, on the right. You see RC with his usual standby of Akuma and Mars. Wonderful cross up top, too, by the way. One of the Akuma's best tools to get damage and start his offense, especially in neutral. Has a really interesting angle, falls as he kept off people off guard. That's not ah, you missed the punish. Yeah, that's not safe. The good news is between both of those uh, low and mid mix-ups off of the health sweep, they're both unsafe. But you kind of have to guess on the fly what's going to come out. Right, quick round from Specialist. He's right now up in his first game. I don't see Specialist play Zhao Yu much, so I'm curious to see what she has to bring to this match. RC is a very strong veteran Street Fire Cross second player. He has made a lot of great tech videos for several characters. Um, I usually know him for his Balrog. He made a wonderfully detailed Rog log. That's why I don't make Balrog combo videos because RC covered everything possible. It's a wonderful video. Be sure to look it up on YouTube later. For now, though, RC is sticking with Akuma and Lars, and it's been a rough start so far. Woohoo! That's a disastrous. Look at the shimmying from Kazuya. Something that Specialist likes to do is he loves to backdash. This way to turn there and crossed up Akuma when the combo supposedly dropped. That's a quick first game for Specialist. He is up 1-0. Red team wins! Fantastic reversals as Kazuya, and he tends to rotate his anchors. I've seen him play Jin, I've seen him play Hachi, I've seen him do Xiaoyu, I've seen him do Marduk, I've seen him do King. But Kazuya is definitely the man who makes his money. I've known this guy for quite some time. He joined the Discord, I think, about two years back, and he has risen to be one of the best players in that Discord. Good stuff to him. So he's got his hands full against RC, who is trying to. Blank. Oh, good! So yeah, as you can tell, that is not a true block string. Kazuya reversed through and made Lars pay for it. Lars have waited his turn as Xiaoyu tried to fake him out, but no avail. Good dive kick from Akuma. Look at this. Bring the pain. It didn't get the full combo. I know what he wanted. He probably just missed uh, the next button. Probably a stand roundhouse. But DP got the trade. Oh no! Too high in the air! Have been really big for Akuma. He loves to do those trade DP combos, especially when RC's at the helm. So far, though, this is all RC. He has done a great job making special pay for his decisions. This is probably it right here. Great round. Let's see if RC can tie this up. You see, the names are switched. I'll switch it up after this if necessary. Be careful jumping on RC specialists. That's something RC has always been very good at. He loves waiting his turn and getting those big trade cues. Oh, that was clever. So you saw Lars kind of stop shorter than Kazi expected and then try to go in with the avalanche stomp. Kazi's lucky to cover quickly. That could have been a really bad start for this particular round. Nice. Little confirm there with Kuma. I drove that to nobody home. Great air to air. Something special also really good. Love this air to air, especially as Kazuya. Unfortunately, uh, Xiaoyu couldn't finish her food. Xiaoyu is not known for her neutral, if you know what I mean. So, Lars has advantage here, but. Oh, there you go. Good overhead from Xiaoyu. Yeah, Lars is kind of let Xiaoyu walk her way in and pay for it. All right, Avalanche stomp, and it hits a spark. Here comes Akuma. Again, trying to get the corner. Goes the throw. What's that going to be? Oh, ho, ho! Raging Demon! Fooled you! Whiffing the far heavy kick while buffering into the Demon. Kazuya stood no chance. It's now tied at one. Red Team wins! Looks like Xiaoyu's been benched. Here comes Heihachi Mishima. Are you ready? Father-son team's gonna try and stop Akuma and Lars, the forgotten son of Heihachi Mishima. All of these characters, thanks to Tekken 7's wacky story mode, have a lineage to the Mishima heritage. 
So let us see who is truly worthy of holding that mantle. We have Akuma, the I guess the affair of Cosby according to Tekken 7 story mode. You have Lars, the forgotten son of a Hachi Mishima after Tekken 2. You have Kazuya, the oldest son of the Hachi Mishima after Kakashi himself. Who will be able to play inside boss? Let's find out. Good job blocking the cross of Tatsu. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And Specialist always knows no shame. Oh, ho, ho. okay. I guess the parry didn't last long enough. Nice little patient stuff from Akuma and RC. Oh, no, you didn't get the follow-up off. Uh, sadly, a second time didn't get the results he wanted. Uh, too far away to get the conversion he wanted either. Probably want the uh, close heavy kick. Far heavy kick's not going to do it, Seihachi. Oh, that's not good. He waited his turn and time to bring the pain once more. Good chase down of the roll. That's something RC is also extremely adept at, especially with Akuma. He will happily sacrifice damage for more Oki. I mean, which way are you going to block a lot of this stuff? You see the cross of Tatsu, he chasing after with the jump light kick. Akuma is one of the few characters left this game who has something akin to the Street Fighter 4 words. Ooh, that could be such a good mix. Not the overhead as he fell a hit stun, but Sai Heihachi did not combo off of it. Heihachi is known for being able to combo off of his high low mix without meter and without mercy as well. So Heihachi needs to finish his food when he gets those openings. Otherwise, he's got to fight his way in now. This is not easy. Good air to air for Heihachi. He's going to jump heavy kick with Kazuya as well. Both these Mishimas have great jumping attacks for both uh, coming down opponents on the ground or hitting them out of the air as an air to air. You see, they're going ham fit now. Special is trying to make some insane call outs right now with those jump heavy kicks. And I think RC is catching on. Never mind. Looks like he finally comes on the fish. Good stuff, Specialist. Lovely stuff. Attention there. So yeah, Specialist loves to force his way in his Kazuya. And he has the tools to do it. Not just the with God Fist, but the EX version of the Wind God Fist. Uh oh, there you go. Dom Self will confirm there with his wonderful light attacks. Overhead. I'm not going to follow up. Too many people hit him in the air with that. Well, uh, same sequence there. No. Something else uh, Kazuya has that is really helpful is that his stand light punch is fantastic. What a hitbox. And thanks to the way his target combos work, he can firm off pretty much any situation to get stuff and get hard knockdowns, get full combos, get anything he wants just off that stand light punch, which has, again, a gratuitous hitbox for uh, any kind of situation you can think of. He also has some really good crouching attacks as well. His crouch light kick is really good. For now, though, it's a hot to make it happen. Great anti-air! Use the back media punch to get a little bit extra hurt box retraction. And then just buffering right into his life with God Fist. Specialist now up 2 to 1. Once again, Kaze Heihachi versus Akuma and Lars. Uh, Heihachi trying to figure out just what exactly Puma was to Kazumi. Meanwhile, Lars, the illegitimate son of Heihachi, sitting in the background watching how this drama unfold and get involved as need be. <laughs> I'm seeing specials and RCs stare each other down like that. Look at that. Are you playing with your food, specialist? That's not really smart against RC. Way too strong for that. You caught him. Uh, didn't get the one he wanted. Probably expecting. Oh, never mind. Look at that low hitting air fireball. So that's three times RC dropped damage for Oki, and three times it worked out perfectly for him. Talk about demoralizing. Look at RC playing right now. I know we played this match a lot back uh, back when the game was super active, me and RC. So I'm hoping he knows what doing at Heihachi. As you guys know, Heihachi is my anchor of choice. So nice to see Specialist kind of pick that up as well. Come on, don't be jumping too much. You're going to get anti aired. Lars has a really good DP for anti airing. So he's not. Oh, never mind. Crouching medium kick right into launcher. Here comes Akuma. Go for Oki, trying to chase down Heihachi. Forces up, good block again from Heihachi. Air Fireball. 
We got something. Yeah, I expect to come back. More Oki. More Oki. Oh, air to air! You got called out, my friend. Uh, he's going for it. You're running out of time. I think... I think RC still got it. I could be wrong. Five over. Maybe? No! Specialist got it. Good stuff, Specialist. Such a good set so far. Good stuff to both players. Alright, so if you're seeing Specialist just whiff the Thunder Godfist like that, that's a really good hit here that causes possessions. As many of you might have seen in uh, Punk's last video, where me and Striker played in the game games. Did we uh, help Punk with his, uh, his concepts, you know? Nice, got him again. Only got one that time. Maybe, uh... I'd say maybe some lag, but I can't tell RC. RC always seems to think like five sets ahead of everybody else when it comes to getting hit to a Kuma. Like, he will drop combos as you've seen on purpose just to go for more OP. So if he has a finished combo, it's a rare thing. Great DP from Lars. Do not let Heihachi jump on your free like that. Da -da. Da -da. Time for Oki. Got him. Wonderful dive kick. Got him again, the dive kick. Had to go for another cross up toss. Oh, this is the punish! Yeah, that was the chance to take out Heihachi for good for Kazumi's sake. That's a nice little hit here. Conversion right there. Uh oh, that's gonna hurt. That's a big whip. Got him? He got him! There are enough juggle points left, and this might be Kazuya in the dirt. Oh, maybe not, okay? Barely, though. One foot in the grave, both feet in the grave, along with his arms and his head. Down you go, chest first, six feet under. Such a set so far. Good stuff again to both players. RC is a veteran in the cross egg community, and he is showing exactly why he's always belonged. All these kicks. More Oki. Oh, just wave dashing in and getting with the EX God Fist. Good block. Of course, he didn't get the punch he wanted. Ah, uh, not the right one. Yeah, that link is typically uh, the time to go into the Godfist. Most execution error. Yeah, one thing that I've always found difficult facing specialists is that he's always moving. And because he's playing Kazuya and he has a lot of normals that advance him forward while still being active, it can be difficult to call him out when he does that. Unless you have the punishes. For now, though, Lars is showing off some uh, some cool stuff of his own. Good DP again. Saw that uh, two hitting crouching heavy punch earlier. Yeah, he's going for the long range button. Crouching knee kick in the launcher, and that is another game in RC's favor. It's tied at two. It's all or nothing. Nice. Alrighty, so looks like Heihachi's been benched in favor of Jin Kazama, who is decidedly top tier in Chief Fire Cross Tekken. Oh, <laughs> beta DP, that's going to hurt. Akuma does not have much help to play with. So Akuma needs to be careful when he goes to those big callouts. To be fair, I see what RC was trying to do. Here's a pro tip. People will be expecting wake up DPs you're low on health. When you're still high on health, they'll be less less open to trying to find it, you know? So if you're gonna go for it, might as well go for it early. However, it seems like Specialist was waiting for the whole time. Alright, Akuma trying to advance on Jin. Jin gets out with the mental lurking kick. Da 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 da. Love that trade DP stuff from RC and his Akuma. Here comes Lars. Lars is known for his really, really big buttons. He has a great DP. He's got some decent uh, front back miss potential with EX out entry. The only weakness he has is that he is a little bit too reliant on his crouching normals. So he can get a raw launch pretty easily if you know what you're looking for. He's trying to advance now with the Avalanche Stone. That's also a mix, by the way. If you leave it alone, you'll get the kick. If you press Light Punch, you'll just uh, flip in front of them with nothing happening. If you press Heavy Punch, you'll get like a sweep attack when he lands. Like a Demon Flip. Yeah, he wants to crouch. Oh! So typically, the Electric Wing Godfist of Kazuya is vulnerable to low attacks. 
but my assumption is because of the startup of Crouching Medium Kick. All right, as I was saying earlier, before I got cut off, um, Kazuya's Lechman Gottis is vulnerable to Crouching Low Attacks. But because of the startup of Lars's Crouching Medium Kick, my assumption is what happened there is the Gottis started up quicker and thus nullified that low vulnerability it has. Just because of how much startup the crash Mika has comparison. Look at this, this has been all our team so far. Perfect. Uh. stuck the corner. Gets him with the crouching heavy punch. Uh, 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 uh. One more mix should do it. Gets a overhead and gets a regular jumping attack. I assume Kazuya wanted to backdash or crouching heavy punch once with Godfist, but didn't get any of it. Good stuff, RC. Specialist has a 3 2 lead. This will be a first of five. Let's see if Specialist can finish this, but one thing RC is very good at is he loves to adapt to these long sets. And the same trick won't work twice. To be fair, though, Specialist has been learning. You see, he's not getting hit by the cross of Pop series quite as much as before. Which is why um, RC is trying to lower Specialist's guard a bit so he's more vulnerable to it. Whoa! Like I said earlier about the front back mix, it's not just the EX side entry, which he's about to hit and get nothing off of. Unfortunately, not juggle points. That's juggle points, though. He can finish this. So much pain. Woo, so much pain. Uh, duh. Good overhead. Ah, uh, he was waiting for it. Good stuff, the specialist. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah. yeah, something else just like to do is he loves the backdash. So if you're facing specialist, make sure you have your backdash punishes on point with all your characters. He won't backdash all the time, but he will backdash most of the time. You have to kind of make him stop. He's probably facing Jin, and he has some really good backdash stuff. Good anti-air from Jin, by the way. Man, the alertness kick. Good cross-up from Lars. Doesn't get the link he wanted. So he just goes for the full and does not get reversed out of it. Got him again with the front back, but didn't get the combo he wanted. Second time he drops, back up to be fatal. Good sweep. Got this time he got it. EX sound entry is escorting Kazuya into the corner. Here comes Akuma, more Oki. Gets hit with the dive kick. This should be. I don't think it's a beer for it. Alright, he has beer now. Did he hit him? He did not! What a bait! Such fast recovery off the demon flip. And RC is tied it at three. What a set this has been so far, ladies and gentlemen. Good stuff. Good stuff. I like it. Nice! Aw, oh, never mind. I thought maybe he got the ground bounce. Since uh, Jin does love the back dash, he just got one hit, though. But you saw Jin go for mental alertness. Typically, that's uh, his reversal stuff. But because of how it lingers, I'm assuming that the second hit of that close head of Akuma is why he got hit in that first place. That's still our third. The chase down. Our heavy kick. Big jump in! Nice. What's cool about what Specialist is doing there is he's trying to pull Lars's prone body into him, so he's more likely to hit his follow-ups. And what that uh, that ground bounce does, those slaughter hook, is that the ground bounce will pull Lars inward to the punish, just like Lars punished big time with that crouch medium kick in the launcher, because again, the health is not the mix that he's looking for. Still his turn. Still his turn. Don't flinch. Nice flinch. Could have been worse though. Good sweep. This time gets the cross up. Doesn't get the far he wanted. He did get the uh, the trade DP though. Dun dun. Here comes Lars. Does not finish the job. Got five seconds left. 
I think he's got this. Yeah, he's got this. Good stuff, RC. What an adjustment from RC. Showing specialists that he will not be... He will not be intimidated. Uh, 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 uh. Got him again. I oh, didn't get the link, though. Yeah, we mentioned earlier about that front bat mix and how you can use the avalanche stop mix to uh, really make Mars Oki threatening. And that's exactly what RC is doing. He's gotten so much violence off of that. Knock him down once, go for the avalanche stomp, make it empty with the light punch, and uh, then go for the very quickly activating crouching heavy punch. Use that to confirm into stuff and bring the pain. Put overhead. Got him again with the trade DP. So much of that is working for RC. Got him again with the cross up pot, so I mentioned earlier Specialist was adapting to it, but I guess not. My goodness. Oh, he got him. Dead to rights. Oh, maybe not, because he jumped and he went for the DP instead. I'm thinking like Aerie or something like that. He's gonna bring in Jin. He has to. He's jumping too much. You've been seeing how much mileage, how successful RC has been with DP specialists like that. The skies are being defended again. Got him with the front bat mix. Dun dun. RC is on set point. Let's get hype. Specialist needs to watch out for that avalanche stomp mix. Like, he's anticipating something, but both that empty avalanche stomp and the demon flip, the way they're recovering so quick when they land, that is really going on Specialist. And you're seeing it right here. Specialist has gotta figure something out though, because this is set point for RC. Uh, 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 uh. Ready someone for a dive kick? I'm. Usually he goes for uh, something that'll recover quicker, but maybe just uh, this time where he was gonna go for the dive kick. Jumping after. Great electric Kazuya. The purple stuff. The stuff used to be a PC to make that safe. Oh, 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 good back dash. That's gonna hurt. Oh, you could have finished your food there. Playing this food now. Fair at work though. A quick EXC ADC into some confirms. What will happen next? Specialist back on the board. Good dive kick. Good throw. He's pushing the corner. The air fireball to keep him locked in. Ah, uh, got him again with the trade DP. Ah, too close. He wanted the far version. The close version does not have the same kind of juggle points. He's got full bar there. He can do anything he wants, so if you jump at him, you don't feel like trade you just go for like a cross art, it'll hurt a lot. I go in, but it looks like Special is finally coming wary of when it's time to worry about those cross up tosses. Kuma with his minuscule health finally gets out. Here comes Lars. Lars gets the ball he wants. He does try to go for another uh, too much back mix, but doesn't get quite enough of it. Cut, let linger there. Good stuff with the dark hole. Whoa! Big DP! Just like Ben alertness stuff, and he got crossed up again this time with the EX on entry. We dash again, goes for a hell sweep, gets something. Big DP again! Got shit on that for a bit, sadly. <laughs> the empty jump stuff. The simple stuff. He got him. It's tight. Got him with the cross of Tatsu! And our seed is one round away from taking this set. Alrighty. Goes in for that sweep. That sweep is so good. One of the Uma's best buttons. One of them. Dun, 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 dun. Time for Oki. Hover's so quick. I got hit by that. Gotta be honest with you. My goodness. Demon flips. It's like the moment he lands, he's good. 
Yeah, you see what he's doing. So with the demon flip, he's pressing punch in the air, which does that uh that fist attack. But the thing about it is that it doesn't change the trajectory of his fall. So if your cover is quicker, then he would have just let it go, and then he could go to something like that. No worries though. RC takes a thriller, five to three. Stuff specialist, but today RC was the better player.